Today's video is going to be a special, special treat video. Um, I know I do a lot of DIYs on my channel, mostly DIYs, and I do a few thrifting and shopping and hauls and everything, but one of the main focuses or the, one of the main things I want to touch upon on Full Style is styling and showing plus size individuals how to dress for their body type, what to look for in the store. I wanted to bring something different and new into the into Full Style, leading into the full year and going on to the launch of Full Style Blog, which is coming at the beginning of the new year. Um, I have been been watching and obsessed with Karen Britchick. I will leave her channel link below. She is a um, London London born, New York based fashion photographer, and I have been getting my life with her videos. Like her videos are very just. Just sit down and just show you what's in store now, what you should get, how you should pair it. I love her style. I just love her eye for detail. And that's something I always like to do. I, I don't usually do it here on my channel, but I do like to do it with my friends. Just telling friends and other plus size individuals that I meet, if they let me, how to shop, what to look for, how to dress. With the expansion of the plus size fashion industry and the love and the, the love and the support we're getting, as well as encouraging, inspiring each other um, with hashtags like F Your Body Sanders and Style has no size and celebrate my style um inspiration plus that's fashion inspiration is only a click or a scroll away but yet while i'm out in the streets or scrolling through facebook i still see some of my plus size beauties out here looking like they be looking and i just i, I be confused i'm like don't you know there's other things that you can should and probably you like you you know you know you have options now right like that's the thing we have so many options so, I want to sit down and just comb through some of them options and share with you guys some of my important key pieces that every fashionista should have in their wardrobe. I guess basically the steps of building your capsule wardrobe, those things that you can pull out time and time again. But I just want to show you something that's hot right now for the fall and going into the winter season. So I just wanted to share that, share that with you guys. So grab yourself a snack, some tea, some wine. So let's get started. Off the back, I'm going to start with something fun. Uh, something that I look forward to every time the weather drops below 60. Anytime the weather starts to drop below 60, I'm ready. She the first thing coming out of my closet, coming out of my tote bin, throwing her in the dryer, dusting her off, and that is jackets. I love me a good jacket <sighs> I love me a good jacket jackets are important quintessential for any fall winter any fall wardrobe um, any fashionista would tell you that's the first thing that she looks forward to well one of the first things she looks forward to about fall is the layering pieces jackets are so versatile you could dress them up you could dress them down they come into a variety of different cuts different styles different materials different fabrics different patterns colors oh so i just want to share the importance of having a good jacket and some of the jackets I've seen that popped up on some of my favorite sites to shop and look at and I just want to share with you guys so I have my little notes here so excuse me if you can see me keep looking over um starting off is this red leather moto jacket from Eloquy you guys know my love obsession with Eloquy it is new it is passionate and it is forever I love Eloquy I love their quality of clothing that is one of the most those clothes are made. They're made for us. I know, I know you think thinking like, but plus size clothes are made for us. No. They're made with the plus size girl comfort and shape and body in mind. Not just the fit and her style, the shape, her comfort level. What will happen if she wear this over time? Rubbing up. You just, if you don't know, just try it out. Just go find an Eloquy, order something, just try it out. Anywho, this red moto jacket from Eloquy is perfect. It's a faux leather leather faux leather leather it's a faux leather crop jacket and it's bright 
vibrant red color. It is definitely a statement piece. It also comes in the black, but the black is sold out online. It is perfect for the fall. I can see this being thrown over a pair of just a simple look for a day look. Thrown over a pair of a, a tee, a white or black tee, some distressed um, boyfriend jeans, and a boot, and you're good to go. Like, you look effortless and chic, and you didn't even do anything. Like, literally, you just threw it on a, sh a, a shirt and some jeans, and you look like a wrong, like, you look like a model. You look like, like, girl. She did that. And you're like, I just, you know, it's the jacket. The jacket is the statement piece. And sometimes in the fall, that's all you need is that one statement piece. I can see this also layered over a long sweater or a long duster with some, um, again, some jeans or pants and with a chunky knit sweater. I mean, chunky knit uh, scarf. Really, really cute. Um, like I said, because it crops, it's going to hit you at your natural waistline. So it's going to look real good with your high-waisted skirts and pants. Um... And over time, because of the quality of the leather, over time, uh, this would just start to fit and mold and just sit on your body and just look like butter, like it was made for you. It kind of molds and contours to the person's shape and body, so it's going to look absolutely beautiful um, over the time. Now, this does retail for... This does retail for $150, and I do say that it is quite an investment piece, but one that you need in your closet. The next all-important piece to have any fashion niche to have is a denim jacket you can find denim jackets almost anywhere you can find them at target you can find them at uh jc Penney's. you can find them at forever 21 you can find them at macy's you can find them anywhere the one i'm showing you is the one that i tried on in my ashley stewart fit in room diaries video i really do like the oversized quality of the jacket it is a bit distressed um notice i said oversized because it didn't fit me oversized but i do like the length of the jacket again i can just throw this on over a tank or over a t-shirt and some leggings with some boots or even some little sneakers and i still feel covered up um especially if i'm wearing leggings i want something that's gonna cover my butt because depending on the quality of the leggings leggings can be quite sheer i and i don't want you know a little peekaboo in my little cheeks you know what i'm saying i don't want none of that so I do like the the thing of the denim jacket. Um, if you do get it oversized, you can possibly wear it as a dress. You can throw this over a um, you can throw this over a dress, and you can dress it up, dress it down with some sneakers, with some boots. There's so many different ways you can wear a beautiful denim jacket. Now you don't have to get the oversized distressed one. You can get like a standard crop jacket. Either way, the a denim jacket is so versatile. Like you can't go wrong with a denim, a well-made denim jacket. And I'm not talking about a chambray denim. I'm talking about actual denim jacket. It's I don't have one in my wardrobe, so imagine me. I'm, I really was upset that those two other ones didn't fit on me that well because if they did, I would have I would have got them because I am in need of a denim jacket. Um, tips: If you find a good denim jacket, if you a th if you like to thrift and you find a good denim jacket in a thrift store, snatch it up, pick it up, run with it, run to the counter, pay for it, and then run out the store with it for somebody else try to take it. Okay? All right. So, I don't care who, I don't care where, I don't care what time in your life, what's going on, everyone needs a dress. Every girl needs a dress. Every fashionista needs a dress. In her closet, at least one good dress. If it can't be a cocktail dress, let it be a little black dress. Everyone needs a dress. It is important. It is a must-have, no matter, because you never know where you gotta go. It could be, you have to go to a party, a wedding, sadly a funeral, um it could be a presentation you have to be a little bit more formal a lot of places don't allow pants for women we're not gonna go into that i went to a few churches like that i was looking at them like you're not gonna tell me what i could wear bruh anywho so um everyone needs a dress and this dress this school bird fit and flare dress from lane bryant is ideal i love the color and the cut of this the cut of this dress is perfect for every body type fit and flare seems to just sit on every excuse me sits on everyone's flat um a fit and flare dress seems to sit so well on almost any body type i've seen it on smaller um slimmer girls i've seen it on short curvier girls men with curvy girls that carry their, their weight in their in their chest or their stomach or their waist it sits well on you because it sits it it fits and flare on your body how your body is it's a magical dress 
This one from Lane Bryant is beautiful. I love the white. I don't care that after Labor Day you can't wear white. Do what you want. I, I can see this dressed up, dressed down, easy to go from day to night. Say if you were in school in the office setting and you had a presentation, you want to look nice, extra nice, you could throw a blazer or a cardigan over this, put a little pump or a little cute flats over this, and then at night you could take off the flat, put on a heel, change up your accessories and then you have a perfect night look if you have like a cocktail or a work dinner to go after you and you just want to spruce it up just a little bit i also could see this in the daytime for a student with this with a denim jacket and a pair of sneakers really cute really nice i love this and this dress also comes in um red with the um, short mashed sleeves i think this dress is $89.95 and again that is an investment for a dress but with Lane Bryant I think you pay for the quality I don't know I don't know who doesn't know what Lane the quality of Lane Bryant but you get really good quality with Lane Bryant so it's quite an investment piece and I think it's worth it moving on to something I mentioned before and that is the little black dress <sighs> again anywho a little black dress is quintessential. I feel like, again, you can wear it for any occasion. A business meeting, a presentation, an interview, um, a funeral. It is perfect. Depending on the cut and the style of the dress, it can go from day to night. You can wear it to work and not get flagged. Um, this dress I'm talking about here is from White House Black Market. Now, this dress is not for day wear. This dress is specifically for night wear, and this is the reason why I added it to my list. This little black shift dress is ideal for a night out, especially for the holidays or with a night out with Bay. It has this beautiful lace detailing on the yoke, the back of the dress as well as on the shoulder, and the mock high neck with this cute little keyhole right in the center of the dress. <sighs> So cute, pair that with a pair of pumps and a statement, like a simple pair of heels and a statement clutch. Oh my God. With the white shapewear, honey chow. The curves on, mm, mm, mm. They ain't ready for it. They ain't ready for it. Um, I know you guys may be wondering, Black, White House Black Market. They got plus size, yes. They have plus size. I think it just released either last month or the month before last. I definitely know it released during some time of the fall season. This dress retails for $130. Again, it is an investment piece. I know that it's something amazing coming from someone like me who literally makes her own clothes because she can't afford clothes. But I'm telling you, if guys, if I had the money, that leather jacket from Eloquent would have been mine. Okay? It would have been mine. If I would have it now. Okay? A little black dresses is quintessential. I will leave links and photos in the video below of other options for little black dresses. That's not $130. You know, you know I got you guys. You know I got you guys. And if you quick with a sewing machine and a, um, or a needle and thread, you go to the thrift store, find you a basic black dress and just add whatever you want to it. You know, like change out the neckline, change out the cuff. Y'all got this. I know, I know I taught y'all well. Moving on, next item, if you haven't met me before, hi, Nadia, I have a problem with button-ups. I love a good button-up, button -up, whether it's a man's button-up or a woman's button-up. A man's button-up is God-sent to fashion women. This year, 2017 button-ups have exploded with the reinvented ideas of man's button-ups. Yeah, we have seen them deconstructed, we have seen them oversized, we've seen them with some type of structural detail like the ruffles or the bell sleeves. We have seen them so many different type of ways. However, a classic button-up is always essential in any fashionista wardrobe or any war anybody wardrobe that has a professional setting where you have to go to interviews or you entertain clients or you have to present at work or school. A button-up is beautiful. Now, I'm going to shake you a little bit, and I'm going to show you this this beautiful lace button-up blouse from Shitty Chic. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the mock Victorian high neck with the large um, bow tie neck. Love this, and the color is so in trend, so on now for the fall season. This beautiful dark Malo burgundy color. Oh, that color is so beautiful on so many different skin types. You guys won't believe it. 
mm. but with this dress this dress comes with its own cami so you don't have to worry about trying to match your bra or your cami to it and you just get that cute lace detail on the sleeve where you get a little peekaboo your skin it's a long sleeve so it's conservative it's perfect for the workplace as well as it's gonna look beautiful whether it's tucked inside of some uh a pencil skirt or some slacks throwing a blazer on it or whether you want to take it out for the night and you still want to keep it tucked inside of a skirt or a little shorter skirt and throw on some heels mm. You don't need nothing else. You don't need no type of jewelry. You don't need nothing else. You don't need a, a, a statement clutch. You could just, that shirt could be the statement. Just a cute little, some cute little um, studs, earrings. It could be like some black pearls or something. That's it. That's all you need is this one. This one from City Chic. Retails for $69. Like I said, this would be perfect with tucked inside of some slacks. Thrown on a blazer with some loafers or some oxfords. You guys know I love loafers and oxfords. Ah, yes. With a cute little brooch, like you can put a pin of brooch on like where the bow meets or down where the little lapels for the bow is. Mm -hmm. This next button up is perfect for someone who want to stick to a more classical, a classic traditional man's button up but still wants to experiment which is a different cut a little bit. This button up from Ashley Stewart. It's perfect. This button up from Ashley Stewart is so cute. I love the simple neckline of it. Just the man's button up. However, the hemline is different if I take of it. It has like, um, it has like coattails. Like the coattail cut on the front. Of the button up, real cute. Really like that detail. Again, I can see this dress down basically. Um, I, you could dress it up, but how I see it in my mind is, again, with a, the button up, a pair of distressed Boyfriend jeans cropped with a cute uh, booty or some high, some wedge sneakers. Real cute, real chic and effortless. Like, people be like, what? Who she thinks she is? You, I think I'm cute. That's what I think. That's, you got a problem? This one also comes in pinstripe. Absolutely love that. That pinstripe would just be, look perfect with a blazer uh, over a skirt with, again, some loafer and some oxford. If you're not into the hemline of this one, this long line, um, yeah, this long line shirt, shirt from shitty, from city chic is ideal too. It's just a little longer, so again, you could wear it tucked inside something or you could wear it hanging out loose and it covers your bum. Still professional, still put together, still polished, love that. Pencil skirts are the most versatile uh, piece you could ever have in your wardrobe. Um, they are the most versatile garment you can have in your closet. They come in a variety of different colors, patterns, materials, like I said, etc., etc. They can be dressed up, dressed down, casual, workwear, whatever. I love a good pencil skirt. For the fall time, material to look for in a pencil skirt are um, tweed, tweed, suede, velvet, um, if you could get a heavy knit or a jersey, almost like a sweater material, or either leather. Love a good pencil skirt. You have seen me style a variety of different pencil skirts here on my channel. I absolutely love a good pencil skirt. And what I'm going to talk about, one that I just got is a new pencil skirt to my edition, is the Eloqui Neoprene Pencil Skirt. This comes in so many different colors. It is ridiculous. And it's also available in different cuts. So they have the regular, the boutique, and the uh, voila line. Viola? I think it's Viola. Viola line. The Viola cut is absolutely perfect for someone like me that has a smaller waist again, wider hips, or ass. Pits perfectly. I could wear a 24 in the Eloquii pencil skirts. Say what now? Um, Because their bottoms is very generous. I mentioned this all before in my... Um, Eloqui haul or try on uh, fitting room diaries or their haul anywho um this one like I said from Eloqui is perfect um the neoprene is almost like a scuba so it's, it's heavy enough but at the same time it's still breathable so if you transition it from the winter fall winter into the spring and the summer you can still wear it without being too heavy but it will keep you warm um, in the fall and the winter and of course you can always wear it over some tights uh, or like uh, sweater knit leggings so you can have a little bit more warmth if you're somewhere like Chicago that gets ridiculously cold like or Michigan 
other pencil skirts to look for is this velvet. I have two here from um, Torrid. Of course, I love Torrid leggings. I love the construction of their leggings. Their waistbands are incredible. They don't have that thin elastic so it doesn't fold over and buckle underneath itself. I have a velvet one here as well as a um, lace one here. Those are really good. I really do like the construction fit of both Eloquii and Torrid leggings. 